and pick out who their mystery person will be for the holiday book exchange. And shh, it's a secret. So if my students are watching this, you can't tell who you have until December 20th when it's time to exchange the gifts, okay? Okay. everyone welcome back to my channel and to vlogmas day 8 today's december 8 2017 and it is friday woohoo if you like the weekend make sure you leave a comment down below also fridays i like to call it my funky t-shirt friday because i get to wear a graphic tee or a shirt with some kind of message today's shirt says do good feel good repeat and i got this from target every friday i usually tend to wear a different graphic tee, and the students always know so they always look forward to see what kind of shirt i am wearing it could be anything from star wars lord of the rings harry potter zelda breath of the wild or just zelda period because i love everything zelda but basically every friday i wear a fun t-shirt and the students always look forward to it so I have a couple of activities planned with my students today and I'll be sharing those in the video. It's almost time to let them in, so I can't wait to see them and go ahead and teach them all the wonderful things that we have to teach. And yes, that whistle is from the security monitor in the hallway because the students sit outside and wait for us to welcome them in at 8.20. Starting next week, the students will be lining up outside in the courtyard, so then we will be picking them up from the courtyard. I can't wait to share my day with you and you may have noticed my hair is up and that's because we are having some problems with the air conditioning. They did send an email yesterday letting us know that they were trying to fix those issues. Yesterday I didn't notice a big difference in the air conditioning but today there was a big difference and when it's hot the hair goes up. So hopefully today as the day continues the air conditioning will kick in and it will feel a little cooler but for now we are just gonna do what we can with what we're given right? So I'll catch up with you sometime during my planning time. So my students are doing the holiday book exchange and I, they already uh, put their books down on a little slip of paper, which I'll show you how it looks like in a moment. And I put all their papers in here and I thought this bag would be good, but it's too small. The papers are all crammed in there and it's, I know it's gonna be hard to shuffle them around. So instead, I'm gonna use this. I purchased this mystery price box from Really Good Stuff long time ago. But what I like is that it has this little plastic thing in the top and right now it's bent down because it was something pushing down on it where I had it stored, go figure. Um, but the students can easily put their hands in there and shuffle the papers around and pick out who their mystery person will be for the holiday book exchange and shh, it's a secret. So if my students are watching this, you can't tell who you have until December 20th when it's time to exchange the gifts, okay? Okay. So this is the paper that the students were given today. They write their name at the top and they choose three book options that they would like to receive along with the author. And they have to write it in an order of preference. So if the person cannot find book one, then they'll find book two, etc. And all students must bring their books wrapped by December 18th, which is Monday and it's two days before a party. So it gives us an opportunity to have the students bring the books in on time so they're ready to go for our holiday book exchange. So right now is my planning time and the students are in music. They go to music on Fridays, my homeroom from 10.05 to 11.05. This morning, the students were working on their ketchup and pickles assignment. And then we stopped to look at Amazon for some book recommendations so that they can have an idea of what books they would like to receive for the holiday book exchange. And I'm also including myself in the holiday book exchange. So the students are excited to see who's going to get me. But again, I keep stressing to them. Keep it a secret. Let's see how long they can keep it a secret. Hopefully they'll be able to keep it a secret all the way till December 20th when our holiday book exchange is. They were telling me that they did something similar last year and they couldn't keep a secret and everybody ended up finding out who had who before the day of the party. So hopefully, and they're trying their best to see if they can uh, not give away who they're gonna get. So after music, they're going to come, they're going to put their hands inside the mystery box and pick out who they have. And I have a list that I keep on who has who. So yes, I will know who has me, but I need to know who was responsible for who uh, and keep track of it in case that person uh, doesn't get a gift. I know who I can um, ask to see. 
And I do want to mention that if there are any students that are not participating, I'm still having them write what are the three books that they like, and the other teacher and myself will see what we can do for that student so that they have a book on that day as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. When they come back from music, we are doing that. And then they're taking their spelling test and we're going back into writing and gathering our evidence from our sources. So it's a very exciting Friday and I'll catch up with you maybe sometime during my lunchtime, if not at the end of the day. And a little update on our air conditioning situation. They fixed the chillers. Both chillers were down this morning, but the repairman was here early. And now the room is much cooler, hence the hair went down again. Let's see how long I can keep it down this time. But yes, thank goodness that it, the air is cooler and it's more comfortable than it was this morning. And it's the end of the day now, so I wanna show you really quickly what I was able to do. I kinda of changed my bulletin board for writing a little bit, so I wanna show you how that looks like. And I also wanna share with you some of the activities that I am planning to do with my students next week that are holiday themed, so stay tuned. So I finally put up the students' thankful trees, which are a way that they were showing gratitude, and I put some there, but most of them are lined up against our city skyline, so they look like, you know, Central Park or something like that. And I can't wait for the students to see it next week. And if you're one of my students and you're watching this, well, you get a preview. They really look really nice displayed like that. So this is one of the activities that I'm planning to do with my students next week. These I got from Fun and First. And basically I just copied them on colorful Astro Bright papers and each student will get one and they will write how they can light up the world with kindness. Uh, make a statement right here and these will go on our bulletin board outside which I'll show you next week in the vlog when the students finish doing these but I thought that this was a really good idea and when I put them up on the bulletin board I'm going to string them along with yarn so they look like Christmas lights lighting up the world and next week we are going to focus on main idea and supporting details this is a snowman template that I created the students put the title of the story they're finding the main idea for at the top which becomes the top hat for the snowman followed by what the main idea is and the supporting details that support the main idea. So along with the snowman template, the students are also going to use this tree, Christmas tree template, so that they can write the summary of the passage that we're going to read. So we are focusing on main idea, details, and summarization. And again, to keep up with the holiday theme, I thought it would be a good idea for the students to create snowmans and Christmas trees, and that way we can uh, continue to decorate the bulletin boards around the classroom. Finally, another idea that I put together is next week we're also going to focus on similes and since we are in the winter season, uh, it doesn't snow in Florida, but I'm going to uh, show the students different facts about snowflakes and how special and unique they are. And we're going to go over similes, so the students are going to write a simile comparing themselves to a snowflake by learning all the characteristics of how snowflakes are unique, how they change throughout the journey of going down the atmosphere towards the ground. So um, I'll show you more about that next week because I have a PowerPoint that I'm creating to go along with this lesson. So after I go over that and the students brainstorm how they can compare themselves to a, a snowflake, they're going to then write their simile right here. And these are different patterns that I, I came up with. I just purchased some graphics off of t Teachers Pay Teachers, and I'll link the person in the description box below. And then I created these on PowerPoint by adding some lines. So there are actually 10 different snowflake templates that the students get to pick and write their snowflake simile um, in the center of the hexagon. So I'm really looking forward to how the students uh, work on this activity and the end results, which I'll be sure to share next week. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are enjoying the Vlogmas videos. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I will be vlogging about my day outside of school. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for notifications so you don't miss a future video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Every like that you give the video allows this video to be available to other teachers that might find these ideas useful. And also don't forget to leave a comment down below on anything that you liked from today or any comments that you may want to share. I wish you all the very best. Have a beautiful day and don't forget to smile.